there's real chemistry to when two people kiss because there are all sorts of chemicals in our bodies fostering us to continue this behavior or maybe putting the brakes on a relationship when the chemistry is not quite right and the couple is incompatible. Cheryl Kirschenbaum, I'm a science writer. A tremendous gender divide emerged when psychologists looked at the preferences and attitudes of kissing for men and women. And women tend to describe kissing as a way to figure out where a relationship was headed. So when asked why would you kiss, women often say to tell me more about the relationship, to see where this is headed. Whereas kissing is important to men, kissing is something men enjoy too, but they tend to describe it more as a means to an end. I'm swapping spit hoping to swap more down the line. Uh, it's something that they do, but maybe not are, they're more focused on what comes next. One of the funniest anecdotes I found in the research was that when asked what you like about kissing, men tend to say that they're often into open mouth kissing with lots of tongue, whereas women tend to complain of too much of that, too sloppy, it's disgusting, why bother? And on the surface that's kind of funny, it's just sort of unique, but there's actually some science involved. So men have a small amount of testosterone in their saliva and women are very sensitive to this hormone. And so it's possible that if a man is kissing the same woman over weeks and months, so it's not instantaneous, it's not a one night stand kind of thing, but if he's kissing her over time, that little bit of testosterone could serve to enhance her libido and potentially be to his reproductive advantage over time. There's been a rise in the popularity of vampires in pop culture and there seems to also be an increase in the incidence of people, particularly young people, biting each other. And there's really no less appropriate way to show someone that you care than literally using your mouth to inject gobs of potentially dangerous bacteria and viruses into their bloodstream. And so I would suggest not to bite the ones you love, but definitely keep kissing. It's a healthy behavior and it's great for reconnecting to those we love.